Hi, Pisces. Oh, so in our feelings, aren't we? Yo, I can feel it. As soon as I got prepped to do your reading, like 10 different little things happened. Like I hit my foot, something fell. You know, like my eye has been hurting. That's why I'm wearing my glasses because my kid punched me in the eye on accident. Like not punched me, but like his hand hit me in the eye. And so my eyes kind of swollen. Like there's all kinds of little things that have been going on that are just irritating you know because i'm hypersensitive i feel hypersensitive and it's something that i'm noticing that happens when i'm going to do the pisces readings so it's an energy that i'm trying to work with i'm trying to work with it in a productive way because as an air sign generally if i feel hypersensitive it doesn't go well but i know that pisceans when they are spiraling upwards can use that energy in a really good way and not give into the anxiety aspect of it and i aspire to that so uh, I'm trying to work with it. It, I, I have kind of flown off the handle and been a little irritable here and there today. And I think that's also something that's coming through from you guys because there is a sense of emotional urgency right now with you guys. Like I want to be spending my time and to be directing my life a certain way. I want to live, you know, from a place of love. I want to live from a place of creativity. I want to live I want to live a life that I can be as a Pisces proud of, that I as a Pisces find fulfilling, not what you find fulfilling or that person or this person, but what I would like to design my life to be. And I think you guys are the sign that always has the guts to design that new life outside of the boundaries and come up with something new because you know what are boundaries to you like what's boundaries in an ocean it's laughable you know boundaries but that thing that you wish to live your life through now the thing that we addressed last month this inexhaustible ability to love now that it's been brought to the forefront. Now that we've done the work of last month of, you know, getting back in touch with that part and, and, and really operating from that aspect of you with confidence, with joy. Now that we're there. Now June asks you to push through with that energy and kind of put your money where your mouth is, you know, um, if you really believe in this, if you really believe that this kind of love is possible, if you really believe that that sort of existence is possible where you can live a relatively wealthy life in every aspect and not just one, if you really believe that's possible, then wouldn't you be living through what you love and wouldn't you be pursuing what you love if you if you really believe you were going to get that you know would you be working the daily grind would you be putting your energy into something or someone that is not loving you back is not nurturing you back is not growing you the way you're growing them you know the ten of pentacles is a card of value the value of that situation right there, the value of this sort of completeness. It's something that Pisceans very much want, but, you know, that doesn't have to, that feeling that the Ten of Pentacles gives doesn't necessarily have to play out like that for a Piscean to have it. It can be unconventional. It doesn't have to be normal. There just has to be love. And so this month asks you, well, oh, really? It is, it just has to be love? Are you sure? You know, and the eternal lover answers, yes, it just has to be love. And so June says, let bet, let me test that. Let's try you out. Okay, all right. And so June becomes a month of speed bumps, hurdles, if you will. Not too big, not too hard to overcome, but consistent and steadily. Obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. And what is the way to jump over every obstacle? What is the fuel that you need? Every obstacle you encounter, temporary albeit, 
that you encounter in June will be a decision where you have to pick between your fear and your love. You have to pick between going backwards and forwards. You know, this is that Cancerian nervous energy that we're coming into in June, later in June. And this card came up in the Gemini reading and we're in the Gemini season right now. And it is a dual card, just like you are a dual sign. And this is a dual time of year because we're in a dual sign. So just so much, you know, mutability that I think for you, it's overwhelming. It's, you're feeling everything and now the universe is saying, okay, now that you feel everything and you seem to be very confident about, you know, your ability to love and how that's more important than anything. So now we're just going to throw some things at you and see how quickly you can duck and jump over all of this and prove not to it, but to yourself that this way that you are, that you can't help, that it's the right way, it's a good way. That when you make decisions from that place, they end up well. You know, the universe now wants you to take this theoretical thing that you have and you feel, and it wants you to do something with it practically. You know, this is a card of something coming to fruition, but it's something material. It's something real. Sure, there are cards like this that imply an emotional fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is like that, but this is not the Ten of Cups. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a real thing that will come out of your desire and your love and pursuing it. Whether that means a partner or a job or, or a film, a show, a book, a child you're about to birth. Whatever creativity is flowing out of you right now and whatever creativity you are, you are the fish and the ocean. Okay, so whatever version of you you're identifying with at the moment, whether it be the ocean or the fish, it's okay. As long as you turn it into something tangible now, we have to drag it out of that subconscious watery place and into something real. And how do we do that? What gives us the fuel and what gives us the direction to ride this chariot without, you know, the wheels coming off. You have to decide, how do we get here, Pisces? Do you get here by grinding and hustling and just doing what needs to be done and keeping this beautiful, hypersensitive, really in touch soul to yourself and just getting through it? Or do you find another path to this? Is there only one path to this? If you think that, then that's your problem to begin with, right? There isn't only one path. There's many paths that lead right here. And so now is a time that you will be challenged through experience after experience this month to find that path. That new path, that, that, that path that's comfortable for you, that will take you to success, right? That will take you to... I was going to use another word, not success. That's why I kind of stammered. That will take you to a greater sense of purpose. You know, I just finished doing the Aries reading. And this sense of purpose, it's really like stuck with me from that reading. And I feel that you guys are so clear on what your purpose is. You come here knowing what your purpose is. And that's to love and to heal. And yet to walk in that purpose, to take that from a metaphysical understanding into a reality, to turn that theory into a reality. The way Morpheus says, you know, I can show you the door, but you have to walk through it. June is when you walk through it. June is when you've done the thinking and the feeling and the, and the analyzing and you get it. You know it. You know what you are. You know what you're made of and you know what makes you tick and you know where your integrity lies. It lies in this idea of loving with everything that you have what we talked about last month now that you know all that the universe is like all right homie i'm waiting like i need you you know it reminds me of i don't know where i read it something about like i saw a hungry child and i asked 
God, like, why would you do this? And I, and, you know, God was a hungry child and God looked at me and said, I was going to ask you the same thing. You know, like, you guys are completely comfortable with knowing that you are one with source and you are one with the creator and, and that gives you a sense of obligation to love and to heal and to be on, you know, the to be one of the good guys. But if you don't act on it and if you don't use those abilities for that purpose, funny things start to happen to a Pisces. When you get too much in your head about what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to be behaving instead of going on your instinct, you move out of that place of love and, and you get conflicted. And once you're in a place of duality like this and the fish are swimming in two opposite directions, you know, here we are again. Circular. Circular. You don't want to do that. Because you'll end up just circling around this thing that you really want and not being able to pin it down and have it. You must... That's why I said. June is like, put your money where your mouth is. You're a lover, right? You're going to love your way through this. And this, and this, and this, and every one of those things, although they may seem antagonistic to you now, they're designed specifically to test and hone your ability to love. Because what you have waiting for you is so wonderful, and only the most deserving, and the most peaceful, and the most compassionate have that available to them. This is not just some boyfriend or girlfriend this is not just some job this is not just you know some opportunity this is something huge this is something life-changing that you stand to acquire you're just in that race to bring yourself to alignment as the cycle opens you know it's all it's all coming together the way it should don't get nervous I mean you guys don't it's okay but the anxiety that I was feeling that almost seasick you know when you guys start to switch between the fish, anyone around you will get seasick. Anyone who has any sort of empathic ability starts to get a little like, oh, whoa, you need to slow down. Because when the ocean is raging, it rages, right? And I don't think that you need to be in that place right now because what you have coming up for you is such a powerful month where you really do get to bring a lot of things to fruition, like that Ten of Pentacles. Listen, I'm still shuffling for an outcome. I'm just still shuffling for an outcome card at this point. And then I'll show you all the cards at once. But I think it's profound that it's these cards that have come up so far. And now we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So, like I've often joked, if you have some sort of like bro-ho figure in your life who just comes and goes, comes and goes, and won't give you, you know... A real answer won't let you know what's really up you know this is one of those times where let me show you what I have in front of me first of all and then we'll talk more if you have somebody in your life that doesn't at all match you know where you want to be in your head and and doesn't match the amount of love energy that you bring to the table. Because let's be honest, Pisces, you could kind of make this happen all by yourself and someone else could just walk into it and be fine. But this person is not even bringing that much to the table. This person is like bringing a tenth of what's necessary to the table. And the cards are pretty clear. You know, the cards are like homes. You got to get rid of this person. Like there's so much stuff waiting for you, you know. There's so much good stuff that you could be putting energy into and working on. But this person who's obviously not worth it, who's obviously just, you know, just by the numbers, not worth it. This person who by their nature drives people to this sort of anxiety where they don't know if they're coming or going. Right? Erratic affection, affection you get and then it's gone and then it's get there and then it's gone. That sort of affection breeds anxiety and insecurity because you're always hopping from one foot to the other and you never know why. You never know what it is that you did that got you the attention it got you and you never know what you did that took the attention away from you because this person, although they may seem like they're reacting to you, they're not reacting to you. 
You're reacting to them. They're playing you. You know, that's the kind of the sickest part is this person doesn't measure up in any way and yet is holding all the strings and the cards are saying like, you got to cut those strings. And it's like you have ample weaponry to do so and you have ample resource to get out of the situation as well. But still, this person who's obviously not worth it holds so much power. And the cards come in now and say, regardless of if you, if you want to have this person in your life or not, now the Ace of Swords comes in and says it doesn't matter. That person has to go. So... Now what? You know, it's not going to be as easy as you think to let go of this situation. Whatever the situation is here that's really taking a lot from you and not giving anything back and not reciprocating anything. This month you become a lot more proactive about getting rid of those situations. Because for the first time in a long time, you're not distracted by, by all types of other stuff. You know, this person is still very much in the material realm and you've transcended that. You've gotten to a higher state where you can see past the material wealth of this scenario to the real wealth of it the the joy of having all these people and all this life here right your love energy is just everything right now and it's what needs to be channeled properly and it's just so uh, it's just it's hard to put this into practice and do this the way it should be done when you're still so conflicted over someone who at this point almost seems like they're there just to keep you from your potential. You know, like they have some sort of strange frenemy vibe with you, like where they don't want you to progress and somehow they want you to keep attached to them and, and, need them, you know, they breed a sort of neediness in people. And the cards are like, no, this has got to stop. This can't happen like this, you know? And so perhaps a new person comes in here, a more fiery person, someone a lot more direct, Someone who will not leave any sort of a clue in your mind as to how you fit into their life. The opposite of that. But I think this is also you coming into a place where you want to be really loving and send messages of love and enjoy just acting like the innocent Pisces that you are, you know, talking from your heart, living from your heart, and really seeing it as something that you're doing for you, not wasting it on somebody else who doesn't deserve it, but really just doing it for you, you know, putting that love into actual practice by loving yourself and, and, and being loving to everyone around you, not a specific person. And what you're going to get from using that energy is, you know, this system of becoming, this systematic, like, put one foot in front of the other of becoming this joyous person. You guys are on this journey and you've come so far. And now these tests are being given to you, like sacrificing perhaps the thing you wanted most. 
only to show you finally that you're better than this, that you should always be thinking from a place of, I'm incredibly valuable and anyone would be lucky to have me. Right? It's, that's how she feels. That's her energy. You know? And it's an energy that invites all sorts of attention. And this is not an energy that you can reach while still being attached to someone who makes you feel less than. Again, this doesn't have to be an earth sign. This can be any sign where the person, the man, the woman is playing games with you. And you just don't know where you stand. But as you come out of this month, you're like, no, I know exactly where I stand. Things are happening for me and I'm going to be a lot more proactive in my life about what I need to get rid of and what trash needs to be thrown out here. Because I have this vision for myself that I want to work on and become. Right? And this may seem like a scary card, but it's a card of great communication as well. You will have the opportunity this month to talk to a lot of people about the things they really need to hear without it coming off as you're reading them or they get them getting upset or anything like that. You'll just be able to relay the information you want to relay very, very easily. But just be careful that then you don't use that ability on someone who's not worth it. Then be careful to take that ability and use it to get rid of this person in a nice way. Right? It's Winston Churchill, I think, that's a diplomacy is telling people to go to hell in a way that makes them look forward to it. Right? Like, use your words, use your charm, use all that innate Piscean intelligence, emotional intelligence to get rid of this person. And really start that love process that up until now, theoretically, you know, you've been working with, working with, and now in June gets pulled into a reality for you. Again, a material success. You know, so coming out of the subconscious, this Cancerian energy, and into a very material existence. A very successful one. And this person, this outcome, isn't just about money or success. This is about love. She's pregnant. She has a partner. She's happy. She's in a, you know, <clears throat> a ripe field. This is all about love. Just a material sort of love. Right? An earth sign sort of love. Okay. So... I know that it can be a little bit slow this time of year for you guys considering what's going on with everybody else, but having Mercury there for you where you'll really be able to, Mercury's going to be, I think, where is it? Mercury, no, there's Venus in your third house, that's what I was meaning to say. So having Venus in your house of relationships is like, all you want to do is think about love and be love and it's really just going to be like a filter. Everything in your life that isn't agreeing with this is just going to get filtered out. You are done with the bullshit. Like you just, you're like, miss me with it. Just, just move from around me. I don't want it. I don't want it. Whether it be a job situation, a friend situation, it doesn't matter. You're just like, do you love me? Do I love what I'm doing? No, no, bye. You know, so... Cut out the people you need to cut out here so you can have enough fuel to do the creative stuff you want to do because anything that you really put your heart into right now because of the way things are set up and the way your energy is set up, anything that you put love into and time into now will work. And please don't waste it on somebody who's probably doing this to a lot of other people as well. Just so not worth it. So not worth it. But whatever you create, whatever you put into motion, whatever things you start now, 
will be worth it and will pay off big later. So it's a good time to do some emotional feng shui, you know, get rid of some people, especially the person that you know, like when I say that toxic person, the person that comes into your mind, that's your toxic person that you need to be like, fam, we need to have a conversation. Okay. And you can do it very lovingly. You don't have to do it, you know, the way an air sign would or the way an earth sign would do it in your own beautiful way, but get it done. Yeah, it's time to test it out, Pisces. But that's okay, you know? I'm with you guys. I think that I think that you guys can really own yourselves in this new age of Aquarius as the ones that came before, the ones that paved the way, the elders, the wise ones. You know, um, I think we all have a lot to learn from the sign of the age that has passed because you guys live through the passing of that age and that's a very powerful experience for you as that sign. So more and more you are being to, being asked to exhibit the most positive aspects of yourself and I think it's because it does really add so much richness to the age of Aquarius energy, which is beautiful in many, many ways, gorgeous, but the depth of the Piscean age. We still need you guys here is what I'm trying to say. We still need you guys to bring that realness and that depth to our everyday experiences. And for that, you pay a very dear price, you know, because you have to deal with all this all the time. And I think now if you really give into it and own it that that's who you are and that's what you are is this creative healing nurturing loving being and that's all you're ever going to be if you decide that i don't know why this is tilted up so much i'm sorry if you decide that then this month the world is going to say oh yeah here prove it here prove it here prove it and don't take it personally like oh why do i have to prove myself no it's just a refining it's just polishing that pearl. You know, it's just a refinement because what you're heading towards is so beautiful. And what you're heading towards is basically being able to manifest whatever you want because your energy isn't split. And where does this the the cohesion start and the split ends? <clears throat> By cutting some people off, baby. All right, Pisces. I am still doing readings over Skype and over the phone, but I'm going to stop doing them soon just because scheduling has been very difficult. And I'm probably just still only going to do recorded readings, at least for the meantime, until I have a new software website set up where it'll be easier for me to do one-on-one -on -one readings again. I will, however, still be doing, <clears throat> excuse me, in-person readings. <clears throat> in San Francisco the first three weeks of October, in LA for the last week of October and the first two weeks of November, and in New York from August to September. So any of those times, if you would like a one-on-one -on -one reading in person, email me and let me know and we'll arrange that. I'll leave my email and my Instagram and my Snap and all that below. I'll also leave Elma's information. Elma's the girl who did my hair and cut it and colored it. She has a salon in Bushwick <clears throat> called Queen of Swords. And she's the bomb. So I'll leave her information below too. You should check her out. A lot of people actually have uh, hopped on over there after like watching the videos because you've seen the transformation, right? If you watch my videos, even going back a few months, you can see like she's just worked magic with my hair magic. Um, I never thought for someone who had such a coarse texture to their hair, which I do, that it would look so bouncy and soft. Like it's something I think I've been trying to attain my whole life without ever admitting to it, you know? And yet I'm like, wow, I think I always wanted this. I think I always wanted soft, pretty, girly hair. And I had like thick, coarse, ow, is that your hair that pinched me? Ow, kind of <laughs> You know, 
and now I don't. So I think it's all about the way she like cut with it, you know? She cut it dry and she cut with the curl so nothing is edgy, nothing, everything is very round and kind of, you know. So it's beautiful, so I'll leave her information below. I'm very happy with it, very happy with it. And I'll also leave Cynthia's information below. The My sister who makes, my soul sister who makes, I shouldn't even have to clarify that. But then if you go to her site and you see that she's like a Belgian woman, you'll be like, but she's a sister. You know what I mean. Not you guys, other people. I didn't mean you guys. I'm just venting to you. I love venting to you guys. I love venting to a Pisces because you never get more than like two minutes into it with the vent. Before they're like, guess what? And you're like, you distracted little. But then they bring it back around and they were really just distracting you. And then by the end you feel better. And they've also somehow fed you and also gotten you something to drink. And then you're fine. And you're like, wait, what was I saying? And they're like, I don't know. What were you saying? You want to watch a movie? Okay. You know? So Cynthia saw my videos last month and she was like, chick, there's some energetic, you know, strings on you. Like we need to... Like, I'm going to, and she just, like, spontaneously just emailed me and was like, I'm doing a healing for you and I'm sending you a protection mala. You really need it. Oh, sorry. Um, so she sent me this protection mala and these bracelets that are made of certain stones. I'm sorry that I don't, I, I don't retain that sort of stuff very easily. So I've forgotten what it is, but I'm sure she'll be able to tell you what she used if you email her. So she sent me this and also did a healing for me, a remote healing, which... I didn't even know, you know, that was something that we could do or that that was an option and she offered it to me and did it and I could actually feel it while it was going on and then when she sent me like the write up later of what she had seen during the healing, I mean it was uncanny to how I was feeling and I still have like actual physical places where like I, you know, things were kind of pulled out of me where I can still feel the, the the sensitivity of those spots really like amazing stuff like I feel so much better and so this you know the moment I put it on I felt this kind of like veil of protection come around me you know and a couple of people have like written for the other videos because I've worn it for all the videos it got here yesterday when I started making the videos that they can see like a difference in me and I really do feel because I was really tense and really nervous before I started making the videos because I just I can lately I've been feeling the energetic the energetic influence of the attention and as soon as I put this on I felt like a like I can still feel the energy but it's just you know a little bit of whew, room and it just cleared my energy field I could just feel it and I wasn't attracting that you know, that kind of envious energy anymore. It just kind of made me invisible to that. And, you know, as someone who, like, really believes in stuff like that, I'm like, thank you for the protection from the Nuzzer, girl. So hitting up Cynthia, like always, is a great idea. But, you know, I don't know what you have to say to her or how you have to approach it to ask her to do a healing or if that's something she'll even do for you. So I'm sorry if I'm, you know wetting your appetite with something that you can't have but her work is amazing and the energetic medicinal quality of it is beyond compare and I'm just so grateful you know this is in the Pisces reading is the perfect time to say that I'm just so grateful for all the wonderful wonderful people in my life who actively take care of me and actively do things to keep me safe and happy. It's such a joy to be loved and you guys do it so well, so well. Um, and this month, you get to show yourself how well you do it. You get to show yourself, prove something to yourself, you know? I love you guys. You teach me so much. I love you, love you. I'll see you in July and I'll leave the info for tickets in Oakland below as well. So you can grab those off here too. Bye, see you in July.